colorful, unhinged characters who've come to prominence in the political era of Donald Trump. Our next guest is probably the most enthusiastic to help him overcome his debilitating fear of machines. We have installed him inside a claw machine for his interview tonight. And joining us now from the corner of Donkey Kong and Qbert, the My Pillow guy, Mike Lindell. Hello, Mike. Jimmy Crumble, is that you? It's me. <laughs> Mike Lindell made it back to the Jimmy Kimmel show this week, and you're not going to believe what happened. This is going to absolutely make your day. Some days ago, the ultra left activist Jimmy Kimmel said this about Mike Lindell. The show. I can't, though, because he's not vaccinated. He, he's an anti vaxxer. We have a policy here you're not vaccinated, you can't come in our building. But, Mike, here's what I will offer, okay? You can come to LA. You can even park in our parking lot if you want. There's a Dave and Buster's across the street, okay? <laughs> and inside that Dave and Buster's is a claw machine. We will put you in this claw machine, and I will interview safely from there. I know you're very focused on machines, um, and that way you can get your message out, maybe even take home a stuffed monkey. If you care about democracy, you will get in that plexiglass box and save this country. Well, they thought they were mocking and ridiculing him, but as it turns out, Mike Lindell said, hey, let's do it. You can't go into the studio if you're not vaccinated. And of course, I'm not vaccinated. Well, he said, well, you can do it from the claw game. Well, maybe I'll find out that that claw game was rigged, huh? From, uh, you know, the uh, ones that grabs the stuffed animals. Um, but in all seriousness, I'll do whatever it takes to help save our country and we have to get rid of the electronic voting machines. We have to get, secure our election platforms and do same day voting, hand counted paper ballots. And if this, is, if this helps, I'm all for it. We'll see it tonight. It should be very, very interesting. God bless. And so he showed up to Kimmel's astonishment. Mike Lindell showed up and did the interview from inside the claw machine. So Kimmel obviously rather surprised by it all began the interview with a rather derogatory question. I guess, why do you think people don't take you seriously? <laughs> well, I, you know, I want to tell you this, Jimmy. Remember okay. when we were kids and uh, we questioned these carnival games, whether they were rigged or not? Yeah, right. But when, but when we spoke up back then, I, we didn't get sued, did we? Yo, that's right. Hey, Mike, get rid of that kid. Will you give him a toy or something like that? There you go. You got a winner. It's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. That was a great answer. There was a time, Jimmy, when we could question machines without without the threat of being sued. So what happened? Well, they kept going. Mike, I know that you're distrustful of machines. Now that you're inside one, do you feel differently? No, same thing. There's, uh, there are computers can be rigged out there, yeah, absolutely, in elections. You know that. Did you ask Donald Trump uh, whether you should do this or not? Do you run this sort of thing by him? No, I didn't, Jimmy. I did this all on my own. I wanted to be on your show. You, you, you know, you kept telling me to come on, but you, you know, I seen the monologue there. You said it's because to put me in here because I was wasn't vaccinated. You tricked me. You did it to be funny, huh? It, no, I didn't. No, I didn't want you in there because you weren't vaccinated. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember why I decided you should be in there. Just, no, you said it on your show. It seemed like a good idea when it happened. I have to say I was very surprised when you said you would do it. But, you know, I put it out there. And so you said yes. So, yeah. I, you know, I'm honoring that commitment that well, I no, made on the air. <laughs> now, of course, that's exactly what Kimmel said, as we ourselves heard. Lindell couldn't come into the studio because apparently they have a policy policy uh, where you have to be vaccinated. And it's interesting here because this guest appearance by Lindell seems to have been so all of a sudden that Kimmel didn't even get brought up to speed about the whole context of the appearance. But of course, they went back and forth on the election to a certain extent, just talking past each other. But there were some very whimsical moments. But the I Supreme say to you, Court. Jimmy, I'll give I'll give the evidence to you. We'll okay. come back two months later. I'll pay for your cyber guy if the if the show can't afford it. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll have him check it out. You know, you're getting a big audience tonight, so you could afford it. Mike, Great. I'll Mike, you, the you see that you see that little girl we'll with the on the show. With that little girl with the overalls on? That's our cyber guy. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking yeah. good. I knew you would. <laughs> How much has this crusade cost you personally, Mike? 
Uh, over 40 million, and that's counting building your great network you watch all the time, Jimmy that's Lindell right. TV. That's part of the cost. I'm your number one fan, yes, that's you for are. sure. There's no question about that. But what happened next really took everyone, especially Jimmy Kimmel, by surprise. This is when Mike Lindell shine but first gang let's show mike our support by clicking on that link below and treating yourself or a loved one to a warm soft comfortable my pillow product and gang mike has just rolled out his my pillow 2.0 his newest version of the iconic my pillow now with a new fabric temperature regulating technology that keeps you comfortable all throughout the night absolutely amazing and you still get the same amazing savings as always if you use code Turley. A classic my pillow is normally $69.98, but if you promo code Turley, you're going to get the same classic my pillow for just $19.98. And that applies to over 200 products in their catalog. So don't wait. Click on that link below. Give the gift of comfort and warmth to yourself and your loved ones. Support one of America's most amazing patriots and get the best savings ever. Click on that link below right now. You, uh, your my pillows used to be in Costco. They used to be in Walmart. They used to be in Hello? Macy's, Bed Bath and Beyond, etc. Right Where the heck are they? Hello? <laughs> is anybody? Where the heck is they? Oh, Who? Ah. Oh my goodness! It's another Mike Lindell. Oh no, no, not Jimmy. It's Jimmy Crumble. I can't handle it right now. I don't got time for you. I'm looking for the law offices of David Buster's. Well, no, Mike. <laughs> My, David Buster's isn't a law firm. It's uh, like a Chuck E. Cheese for adults who enjoy wrestling. Well, I'm being sued for $1.3 billion, and I need some representation. So it's right, right here in the law. So... <laughs> <laughs> Play. <laughs> Mike, you agreed to be. Well, one of the mics agreed to be interviewed in the claw machine, so. I knew it! It's a machine! It's the Antifa Chinese devil crazy! And they trapped me inside! Don't worry, you sweet boy! I got a pillowcase full of quarters right here! Here, try, here, try the machine! Here, it's rigged! Here, it's rigged! Here, it's rigged. No, it's rigged. Not... Don't hurt Mike! All right. Just come on! And security, please get the other Mike yeah. Lindell out of this. Mike, one more thing. Have you, what do you, have you met this guy, George Santos? No. What do you think of him? Wait, is that the guy that was just here? No. <laughs> That's a different guy. <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, thank you, Mike, for, um, you know what? I have to say, um, one thing about you is you are definitely committed, and you should probably be committed, to be honest with you. But, uh, Mike Lindell, everybody, the My Pillow guy. We'll right that was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Even Kimmel, who's thus far been so bitter and spiteful towards so much of the nation, even he had to laugh and really laugh there. This is the beauty of humor. There's a growing field of study known as humor studies. It's a wide field that includes the psychological, physiological, and yes, social benefits of humor. Laughter has been shown to enhance our intake of oxygen-rich rich air. It stimulates our heart, our lungs, our muscles, and increases the endorphins that our brains release to reduce the physical sensations of stress. Humor has been shown to work wonders for people suffering from anxiety and depression, but most of all, Humor has what scholars call an instrumental function in terms of how it use, it's uniquely able to form social bonds, enabling people to relate to one another, often in very stressful, intense situations. Humor has been recognized as indispensable to healthy marriages, healthy families, in professional development and career advancement. In other words, humor really does heal, not just physically, but socially as well. This week, in the midst of an increasingly bitter partisan polarization happening at virtually all levels of society, where even pronouns now are contentious, we were just treated to a masterclass on the healing power of humor. Jimmy Kimmel, to his credit, his comedic as well as personal credit, recognized that, and he saw that. And he seemed to have shown a flash of promise there, that perhaps... We haven't gone too far. We haven't reached a tipping point in our nation as of yet, where partisan divisions have become too polarizing to overcome. 
perhaps we really can still come together periodically, not as Republicans or Democrats or conservatives or liberals, but simply as Americans with a common sense of humor that bridges our divides. I certainly hope that's the case. And that hope, I have to say, was restored by a dear, eccentric, pillow-making patriot named Mike Lindell. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on a Vietnam vet getting challenged by a bunch of woke thugs. And you won't believe what happened next to make your day. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless.